here with the champ. Champion, look, here it is. Noah T wins Raccoon Cup episode 71. Now we got... Now our channel is two champs. Two champs. I, uh, Just waiting on you. I gotta get in there. I'm trying my best, but I'm still learning. Yeah. Uh, here's a game against Azawa, which has been featured on this channel many times. So let's jump on into it. Let's view game replay. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, technical difficulties uh -oh. here. Uh -oh. Attacking the server. Let's make this full screen. Okay. <clears throat> fix all this in post. Yeah, I'll fix it in post. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about your draft. Wow. This is a real thick draft. Look at all these cards here. Yeah, and it was a little, a little frightening, I thought. Interesting Berserker ban up front. I feel like that's the card you don't ban as the first banner. I respect that. You get Sometimes you get stuck with it when you don't want it. How could you not want it? Well, in this case... So your ban... Oh, God, so many... There's every good card. Every card is good. There's not... I mean, Lancer is... Yeah, <laughs> I, that was my only, like, thing. I'm like, at least you're going to end up with Lancer. Oh, wow, what a sick amount of cards. All right, what do you want here? You you uh, you want it and... It's the like cavalry. I kept, I kept doing, like, this stupid loop where it's like, well, if I get rid of Bannerman... Then they're gonna get warrior priest, and then I have to have like a, a counter to that. So yeah, so Azawa takes yeah. So Bannerman's the. Or if I don't get rid of say I get rid of warrior priest, then I'm they'll get Bannerman. Then I'm forced to get cavalry. So then they'll have another two the two great. Units. Really tough, yeah. This is like it just seems so rough. I mean, you're gonna get two of these good cards, so. You can end up with Earl like Cavalry for some insane rushdown or, or any combination of Mercenary Earl like Cavalry for very fast action. So, I mean, you, you always can bank on that. That's kind of what yeah, I think you did in the end. I think you, God, I think you ban, you still ban Bannerman probably, right? Yeah, that's, that's what I fell, that's what I fell on okay, let's see what in happens. the end here. You ban Bannerman. So I now, was, yeah, I Warrior made a prediction... Priest in our chat on what this was going to end up, and I was wrong. And I was a little surprised by that, actually. Oh, okay. I remember you did that, but I didn't study it very carefully. Yeah. So, it, it, Warrior Priest, or... It's still a lot of good options here, but probably Warrior Priest. Right. That's what I was assuming. And that's... You gotta get Warrior Priest. Mm -hmm. Now, now, I felt like... Options here. Now I'm thinking, like, man... Like, Calvary or Bishop are the best, you know, some of the best defenses against Warrior Priest, but... Among this crowd, they're still almost like their tier two yeah. picks. Well, you take Earl. You take an Earl that's locked in or not. You're still not even sure. You don't take Earl at all? I mean, I might end up with Earl, but wow. I'm, a, I'm a bigger fan of Mercenary, and I've been playing so much uh, Mercenary good. Siege uh, lately. Yeah. Expansion. Oh, but sure. Th this we, isn't Siege. Oh, it's not so Siege. Like, yeah, yeah. So, like, Cavalry is a higher premium here. Yeah, sure. For that reason, because he can't, um, he can. The walls don't block him. From yeah, block. those fortifications really sure slow it up. Well, okay. I mean, uh, well, I would, I would take, I would take mercenary Earl here. I think if I was playing. Well, I is what I would do. I did mercenary like cavalry. Okay. What I ended up with. Also good. Now, okay. now I'm assuming they're gonna go. Okay, sure. I almost was certain though they were gonna take bishop instead of cavalry. That was my big surprise. Mm-hmm, okay. Because Bishop is a pretty strong defense against Warrior Priest. Sure, yeah, because he can't get big. Can't get big, and, you know, it has that uh, synergy with Mercenary. So I'm just... Right. I always forget about that because it happens so rarely. But, yeah, the Mercenary, Bishop, Mercenary synergy is really hot. Yeah, and I'm just, yeah. So I was a little surprised by that decision there. Okay. But ultimately, otherwise, this was how I expected it. Classic recruit. You will recruit, or you'll deploy maybe mercenary first. Okay, or or or, or royal guard. That's yeah. fine. I had the spy. spy yeah. Option. Oh yeah. Sure. The spy early. You didn't do it. I didn't do it. You could have done the spy early too. Because I wanted to get the mercenary off the off the board. Sure. But I, you know, it's it's always hard. Like when is the optimal time? And I know small bag is like likely coming, and then spy is worthless. Mm-hmm. 
So they're choosing to go opposite my mercenary, which is smart. Yeah, because a mercenary can come get them. And normally I do put my uh, royal guard on my right side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually royal guard goes here and holds. But the, my thinking was that the warrior priest likes to go on... Over here. Yeah, my right as well. And I didn't want the royal guard just to get eaten up over there. So switched it up a little bit and... Good idea. Well... They switched it up as well. And they switched it up as well. So they're playing, you know, reacting to the moves I'm making, which is what you should be doing. And now they... Uh, that, that recruit wasn't sure, but pretty sure they got stuck. So this is already... Yeah, so this is great a, for me. a messy hand gone wrong for Azawa here. Mm -hmm. So let's see. This will this will seal it. You you know, but for the audience, yeah. Okay, so passes here. So the pass means he's jammed. Yeah. So that's real bad, and I have a good open. I have clean open. Well, with mercenary, right? I mean, uh, he had Earl as well, but he he took the chance there. He, I guess deploying the cavalry was the mistake there, right? Well, I mean, I wouldn't call that a mistake. It's the gamble you take. Well, but if you have Earl in hand, like, you have Earl coming, and yeah, that cleans you up. So, like, now you, you know. Yeah, with Earl, it's a little different, I guess, because. If, if you have a if you have a freebie off a spot, then you should, like, save it. You should let that happen, you know? I don't know. I'm, I generally try and play both units first. You just play both. And then, like, you got to just accept that you're going to. 20% of the time it's going to happen, and you have to just kind of deal with it. You got to deal with it by losing that game? You don't always lose, but you're behind the eight ball. You're, you're, you're running late. Running late. So, pl playing my uh, best defense against the... Yeah, Royal Guards. I mean, uh, Warrior Priest going to have a hard time over there with mm -hmm. the camp bolster, and then you can approach with Royal Guard, kind of, you know, can't kill the bishop. Another pass, real tough. Yeah, mm. yep. yeah. You're going to be quite a jump ahead here with with fast units yeah, as I got well. Fast units, so this can you know bolster here and get up there. Well, I'm pointing. <laughs> um, this 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 merc can you know bolster in this spot and then get up into this spot even before he can he can hit you. But then you're you're here, and then mm -hmm. obviously like cavalry can jump here. And he's going to have to try to be bolstering his crap off right. anyways. Then you kind of force him to play defense here. In which Real kind of pre spot. prevents him from getting a small bag. Real tough spot. Yeah, this is a good and I had the, uh, I had a great open here. Yeah, moves up here. Oh, he moved up. Now you can kill him with your mercenary if you choose. Uh, I'm not going to blow my blow my load that early. Hmm. I, I'm thinking I might need to save that for... Some emergencies against the warrior priest. Hmm, hmm, interesting. See, that's something I would do. I would like, oh, free, freebie, free kill. Uh, no. And I go get him. You gotta keep it in your pants. Mm, we'll stream off, sure. I want to get a small bag as quick as possible here. And my thought is recruit when I move the bishop. Recruit a light cavalry. Okay, here comes bishop. You're like, oh, do I recruit? Oh, first DF. Oh. Bolster. Okay, sure. So I'm feeling pretty good already. Nothing is in the bank by any means, but I'm seeing things, opportunities. You got all your units deployed. You got two bolstered. You're way ahead on tempo. Yeah, and I'm at a five bag. If you can have your fourth round at a five bag, you're doing you're doing good. I guess you could. You have. Yeah, you have a five bag. And Azawa's got a fat an eight bag a with fat bag. with only three units out. Yeah, it's tough. It's not not ideal. You're getting spied. Getting spied on. He knocks that bishop out. Shucks. It slows you down a little bit. And I think I do I think I retaliated here thinking this might be my only chance. Maybe I don't. Alright. Not yet. I, I think I do next. <laughs> On this last chip? Yeah. <laughs> kind of dumb. But Spy on one. It's an Earl. I mean, sure, you can dump. You, know, you, you can't move that Earl, but then he gets to move a warrior priest. You do discard it. You slow him down. Yeah, the whole point is this is just uh, keeping, preventing the small bag. Slowing that whole process. Sure, because he could have bolstered. Now he can't. Well, mm -hmm. he bolstered this, I He'll guess. He'll bolster eventually, but. But yeah, no, he's. It's got to be another. It's going through a whole rotation first. 
Okay, he's safe. Safe advance because he bolstered off his cavalry. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be tough for him to defend. Like right. you'll take this easily. Well, I guess he's got this guy now, but yeah, that was a concern. But I'm hoping eventually they're going to bolster that off too. Yeah. All right, there's that guy. Control, control. Grab a point. Bolstered him off. All right. Well, not now. He's safe. Taken. Interesting. Now you move up. Yeah, you're really putting pressure on here. Um, it's going to be tough to come back. I think he needs to get the cavalry back. Right. And now you also have an earl that's just kind of in the rotation. What's the plan? So now I'm now bishop is immune. So now it's a problem, or it's a safety for me. You got a royal coin. You can redeploy. Probably not. Like have sure. Getting a little sloppy, I feel like. I think you could you could have just done the mercenary work right now and. No, I have a. Like why I like cavalry here. Um. You just go get this. I'm thinking. I might lose. Oh, I can't point it. I might lose my RG to a small bag. So I'm thinking. I'm gonna need to claim both of those points instead of just one. My. Bishop point will be secure because he's bolstered. Yeah. So I need to get those other two on on my right. Oh, you, th you think you're not going to be able to do this in time? Even if I do it, he's going to be able to retake it. Mm. Because he's real close to small bag. So. Okay. I'm gonna. That's. I'm. I'm counting that spot as. So you're thinking potential loss. Like cavalry has to go here. N I'm gonna, wait, wait. I'm gonna do a little crossover here, actually. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's see, let's see how this goes. So, okay, Azawa now at a four bag, six. Oh wait, yeah, I'm I'm six bag now. So they're one away. They're that. So here is my, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what we yeah. do here. Oh, well. I'm thinking, so this is almost like a, a good chess, pu a chess puzzle, a war chest puzzle spot. Because, I mean, you can move the bishop recruiting a mercenary mm -hmm. with a guaranteed mercenary draw next turn. And you get to control with this guy. And he is currently sitting on, say, two warrior priests and a, and a coin. So let's say he's got two warrior priests here. If he comes here and attacks, he can't go infinite right now because he's got Earl in his bag. Mm -hmm. You're guaranteed this spot next turn. You're guaranteed this spot this turn. And he's on a spot. You can take initiative. I feel like... I'm not going to waste our time running the numbers here, but I feel like if you move the bishop and the merc right now, you win. You think? Well, like we could run it, but... I yeah. think with initiative on your side, you should be able to get a bishop off before he before he kills all your stuff. Especially since he can't even get this earl out of his bag until Well the thing is I have a I have a six bag. Right. So Yeah, and you could miss the bishop pretty I could easy miss too. the bishop. Sure, yeah. You could miss the bishop. I was thinking, oh you just get the bishop. And he, you there's even the potential bishop. of going into my back rank. After he scoops up the RG spot, if well, if it happens, let's see what you do is. here. Let's see what you're pulling. So, you do a, you do a mercenary, but but with the coin. First with the coin. Oh, interesting. So I'm going to take care of it. You're going over there. Mm-hmm. Because I want that guy gone. So you're you're saying this is not a race anymore. I'm gonna. No, I'm, it's a race. Well, if it was a race, then you should take the spot, right? No, it's a race for both of these because I know I also have two light cavalry coming up next. Yeah, sure. I guess that's easy peasy. Yeah, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. This is you're you're on a different level than I am. That that makes sense now. Because your your light cavalry next 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 hand locks this up. You mm -hmm. know, you just need to lock, kill this, and you're like letting this one go, kind of. Yeah, or I mean, potentially, I mean, or I think, letting one of them go. I mean, I'll take the point, but yeah, you'll take it. Oh, here it is. So, yeah. Here it is. Okay, off. hey, I love it. I love it. And now there's the panic starting to set in. Now we're going to get a a recruit, I believe. Oh, step Not right up. Not yet. Not yet. You take the hit here? See, I don't want to strike 
You don't. Oh, because, because it, my bishop, it, right? it activates your bishop, right? Yep. So you just control. Yep. We're back. Did a little intermission. Now where are we? I don't remember. You um, moved up. No attacks control. So you took control with that. Now we're back. So mm -hmm. now he... Okay, so now it's a re redraw. He is still on four bag with that Earl lingering. He didn't get a chance to use it. Yeah, that spy was great. Yeah, and now you killed his Earl, so you, now he's got a... Well, he just deploys it, I guess. It goes back into the, the bag he yeah. needs. This is interesting. I, I didn't fully... What's about to, he's going to attack, obviously. Yeah. But I wasn't sure if they're, if he's going to go infinite or not. Like, is it possible? He's got a bag, one in his bag, so. But it could be, it could be a warrior oh, priest. so he has one, yeah, if his earl's in hand, then he, yeah, he will go infinite still. Now, if earl's in if hand. If it's, yeah, I think I, must, I misplayed it. I took too many shots before I... I, I realize that. So I take one. And you all, oh, you got to decide. And you're like, yeah, I'll take it from the reserve. Mm -hmm. He goes again. Which now, now he's going to redraw one. And those are, that's what's his bag. So he will go infinite now. Yeah. So you so took, took one hit. more and then, that, then I realized that I was. And this one I just. Now you just, yeah. Now you let it go and then he steps on. So you're right about this. Good old like cavalry unperturbed. Mm -hmm. Earl can't do much. He just blocks. It's smart. Yeah. So now he's finally small bag, but it's uh, looking a little grim. Now you you can miss your no you, yeah you can miss your draw of a mercenary. Activating his cavalry. I don't know if that's really much use. But yeah, what is. I feel like it's sort of like a... I mean, he'd be better off keeping a infinite infinity and trying to rush it. I think so. I think it was more of a... The cavalry can't do shit here. Just kind of... Like, uh oh there's a big problem here suddenly. You drew the mercenary. And, and, and he... And how. Well, oh, I guess he... I my bishop. Yeah, there, he's, but... you're not winning yet, because he's flipping it. He's flipping, but... This is game over, though. He flips. Because I know I have... And you have initiative you could take. He makes a run for it. Okay. You just control and bolster, bolster. Bolster mm -hmm. take initiative. Bolster initiative, yeah. Yeah. So even if it was true small bag, hmm. it would be a win. See, this is where it was nice to have a bishop, just because I know it's safe. Yeah. The location is good. Oh, you attacked. Yeah, yeah I mean... Ultimately, it doesn't matter one way or the other. Yeah. I'm taking initiative here. Now you take initiative. And that's all she Wait, wrote. No, you didn't take initiative. Oh, I didn't? You just didn't. Oh, because I wasn't sure. My bag was too thick. That's yeah. right. Yeah, you didn't take initiative. Yeah, your bag, you didn't guarantee a bishop. You didn't take initiative. And it turned out, this is next round. Now I know I'm safe. <laughs> well. Now bishop, he can take it this round, but you, yeah, he his bag now was too thick. Now, if he had double warrior priest right now, because he, he could have flipped this. I mean, he doesn't win if he flips it, but... Keeps it from... But now he probably has some, yeah, pain in the ass cavalry stuck in his hand, and now he can't do it. Yeah, so here I'm seeing if it's going to flip. Doesn't, so that's... Now, you're now I know it's GG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think those cavalry recruits were not super useful. No. But you still probably had it with this in invincible bishop at this point, right? This guy running around, you got this pressure here happening. I'm not, I'm doing pointing. You got this guy running around, you got pressure here built up. Just, him going small bag would never get that far. And then you got invincible bishop here who can run around and just recapture. Yeah, I mean, I do have to face the potential <clears throat> now of a... Cavalry attacking that bishop, but we didn't get that far. No, we did not. But yeah, then we had a conversation about small bag. You mean secondhand preview? Excuse me, secondhand preview. <sighs> yeah, refresher yeah, for the audience. Uh, secondhand preview is a, is a variant on War Chest that that we campaign for, uh, where you get to look at you draw your hand of three, 
and then you draw your next hand. This is for the first round. For the very first, very opening, and you look at your next three. And what this lets you do is set up your opening to know if you're going to get what two units to deploy so you don't get plugged up. You don't get the messy hand. Mm -hmm. We've talked about this a lot, and, you know, this is a this is a, a prime perf- example. A prime example of why it's important. In this, you know, here's a tournament finale. Yep. With two very high ranked players that played, and one of the players got incredibly unlucky with the I mean it's one in five, if that's incredibly unlucky or not, but it it's a gamble that you have to take to have a competitive game. Now Ozawa could have not taken that gamble and that did what I said and like not deployed his cavalry and waited for the Earl, but that would have slowed him down anyway. Mm-hmm. Noah didn't have to wait at all. He just played all of his people and you know, he got the good hand or the mercenary worked it out for him. Yeah, mercenary is excellent for that. But in this case, I mean, this was still you know a game certainly because these players are top top tier. But that is a level of bad luck that Azawa shouldn't have to put up with, and that shouldn't tarnish a game of this caliber. Right, I fully agree with that. Now, what surprises me is how many top players don't agree with implementing it, and sometimes it's just a we fear change kind of thing. Like I remember when we were first playing, and they introduced the elimination draft. And I was just like, what? Like, you know, like, what is this about? You never not... get to play Berserker now. You just eliminate them all yeah. the time. But it it totally makes sense. And, it, you know, it just, you know, sometimes it's just a new thing you don't like. But the main argument I hear is War Chest is a game of luck. That's part of it. Like, that bad luck is part of the game. Right. And, and... Therefore, but yeah, these are completely different types of luck. Yeah. I disagree that it is. I mean, there is luck in how you draw your bag, but from the point you get your opening hand, all the future luck in that game is determined by you. What you draw in your opening hand, that is luck you can't control. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to mitigate with this. I mean, there's a couple different ways to do it. Secondhand preview is the leading one, but there's like a lot. Like draw five and put two back, for example. Like whatever you can do to make sure you don't get this unlucky opener... The game would still, not only would it, I want to say it wouldn't even affect the game, I mean, it would affect the game in a strictly positive way. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I've never played what's, it, though. What's the downside? What's I the mean, downside of... What is the downside? The downside yeah, is... what is the downside? That's the thing. I mean, uh, the downside is... Azawa was saying that it might give a favor to the player with initiative, and I didn't fully explore that with them, but... Uh, so, Azawa... You can maybe elaborate on that sometime. Yeah, leave a comment, please. I don't really understand why that would be, but you know, it, you avoid bad luck situations and have better matches all around. Like, yeah, especially at the top top level. Does it I give you? Like, does it give an advantage to? Some, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't see it's like breaking any any dynamic. Right. You know, the only argument that I would really withstand for it, you know, obviously the people who design the game couldn't have play tested the amount of games that exist now. You know what I mean? That's a thing like there's a lot of uh, mentality where like oh the game designer is infallible, right? Like they design the game this way. People make mistakes, you know. And this well, isn't even like a they've they've corrected things. Yeah. They've corrected the Royal Guard and they actually put it in the tournament rules. They Absolutely. they the the infallible creators made this a rule. Yeah. They like this they like second and preview so much that it's in the tournament kit, officially printed and and sanctioned by AEG and 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 the the creators of the game. So the only question here is it, it, I would say it's not even I mean the discussion is fun. But it's a matter of like can we get it implemented on Board Game Arena? You know, like that's that's the real thing. Like now it's it's done. <laughs> tournament mode in Board Game Arena should be I mean it shouldn't be optional. It should just be there. It should be part of the game. Yeah. Um one thing that I've discussed and I've gotten different answers is how to handle spy on the first round. Sure. And I've heard the camp where you spy your second hand preview, all that information goes in the bag and it's gone. That's what I say. Azawa says, uh, and I think I agree with Azawa, you just take randomly from that three of your second hand mm-hmm. and you draw one from the bag. Take randomly from the second hand? From the second hand. So in like and real life, you flip it and shuffle it up or something, and then and then you draw a, your third. You fill up your second hand again. Oh, you so refill. Just, okay, so you... Wait, so where do you draw your chip from that you got spied? From your second hand? Well, that gets discarded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah from your second hand, 
So yeah. your your redraw your spy redraw is limited to the second hand, mm -hmm. and then you refill your second hand. I mean, it's that's all right. It's just too much. I don't think spy it, you can change zero writing about spy, and it would work. You know what I mean? Like what your what your the solution you propose there is like like four lines of rules. They need to be written somewhere. I don't know. I think there's the same amount of... needs to be written somewhere. Because you're saying... Because uh, the text of Spy is discard your, uh, a chip and draw a new one from the bag. That's, yeah, but, that's what Spy says. From in, from the bag? Yeah. Well, draw so, another so, chip. So the, the, the... You're saying the secondhand preview remains intact? I'm saying that... The, I'm saying the secondhand preview is still in your bag. You're just getting a glimpse of what your secondhand will be. In my, I mean, it's you take it out of the bag in, in reality, and you have it. But like, it's still in your bag. There's no third stage of the game where the second hand lives. It's in the bag. You just get to see it. Your bag order is just like set to the first three, and you see it. But when you're told to draw a card from the bag, then you you draw a card from the bag. There's a random bag. You draw a card from it. But then, does your second hand preview go away? Yeah, it ruins your preview. It ruins your preview. It ruins your preview, and you draw a random chip. So I don't know why that's simpler. Or I don't know why that doesn't need any more explanation. That's simpler because you don't have to... You're drawing a chip from the your random bag, and you're not... But why, where does it say you have to put your secondhand preview? I don't know why that's intuitive. That's not intuitive to me, at least. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, but I guess that's what other people have said, and I, I've always... I don't, I don't consider the secondhand preview as leaving your bag ever. It's in your bag, and then... But I guess... You're drawing a random chip from your bag. No, I mean, I guess it makes sense to draw a random chip from the... From your future hand. I mean, that makes sense. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. It's very minutiae. We're in the weeds here. Yeah, about spies are pretty... It's pretty fridge. But uh, it's just something I'm curious about. Yeah. Why is this spinning? Why is that wheel... I don't know. It's because it's trying to load something and there's some error game state change that Borg Arena can't handle. Oh, boy. Done Whatever. It now. Whatever. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, it, it was actually a, still a pretty cool game. And... Like, I, I, I chimed in where I would have made different plays than you and probably would have thrown this game. So, you know, good on you for winning it Thank instead you. of losing it. Yeah. I, I probably would have found a way to lose this despite, has, despite as I was bad luck. So I think I've had, like, so many second places. So it's, it's yeah, nice to finally win a game in the finals. I do think I got second place once. Nice. We got to... We gotta get you now. We gotta do a Rocky montage. Yeah. We gotta be doing push-ups and punching meat. Yep. Then... <laughs> Bolster, bolster. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I I was really just like I'm trying to figure out how do I keep myself from blundering, and it's like I got to make some kind of a checklist that I can't I can't make a move until I. I think I it's just like a. I run a, a checklist. I think you just got to do like take three breaths or something. Yeah. Like just like. Well, it's like you. My brain can only hold so much stuff, and then when I see something else, like I forget the last thing. Like I knew, like I in know. this case, <laughs> like I know that this turn I need to flip a point, and like I know that for a fact. I need to flip a point this turn, and then like I'll go. Oh, actually, you know what? If I attack once here, then he can't ever redeploy. I'll, I'll come up with some other thing, but I forget that he erases the <laughs> yeah that erases the thing I had to do. I hate when it's like I literally just thought that, and then I did the exact opposite of what I was thinking. God. Like, what 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 was I doing? Like, what's going on up here, brain? Or I'll say like, oh oh no, if if they take initiative, then that that the something bad will happen. So right. I should I should make sure that I deploy first so they can't initiative take and like you know whatever do something and then i just like forget yeah just and then don't do the thing and they take like, initiative you're like, like wait a oh, minute yeah that was that's just, the whole i thought, I thought about that yeah. guys so i need to make a i need to make a goddamn list that i'm like okay can they take initiative would i you know am i playing these in the right order can i play them in a different order for there's some kind of a little thing like that where order of operations yeah like, just make you you gotta have consider like a, it a mnemonic device for you for everybody like dear aunt sally yeah. Well, anyway. So if you can think of uh, something that'll help our friend and everyone and me. Yeah, and get somebody to get secondhand preview in here. Let's write it in here. Yeah, Develop, we, we calling need, all developers. Look, decoder. get on Board Game Arena, get in there, and uh, you know, it's easy. Bing bada boom. Do some. Gotta, do some PC. Python, Java scripting. You know, something, something, and get in there and use a. I know it's not GitHub and. <laughs> Well, I mean, their their whole thing is like I've looked a little bit on the back end just because I was talking to you. Just took a peek, talking to to TC Tabello. <laughs> Tabello, 
And he's like, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, sure. Yeah. And he's like, what do I got to do? And I'm just like, oh, I just like read like just their, their stuff like on how to even make their game. They just have a, like It a... all needs to fit in their own clunky ass system. Right, right. But uh, yeah, Azawa becoming a regular on the show, it seems like. Oh yeah, definitely. How many finals are you? We've are done. They, are they in? Um, I don't know. I don't have a count, but it's like multiple. S- smartly, Azawa, Dash. <laughs> those yeah, are some of those our. Those are the three that rotating are always, cast. Always, always grinding up. Well, hey, thanks for coming and joining us in a little fireside chat here. Uh, congratulations, Noah T, for uh, Raccoon Cup victory. Let's keep it going. Let's let's keep winning them for the U.S. team. Yeah, hey, we gotta do our nation proud. <laughs> yeah, let's I do, do, it, for, do it for America. Do it for America. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. Thank you. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff.